guys what's up this is the next day i'm still working on this w124 as you can see it's sitting in a different spot right now um and what i'm going to be doing is i jacked up this side of the car i'm going to be replacing the left rear axle on this car and i also have the uh brand new brakes for the rear and you know there's a lot of other things i have to do on this car i have to take the antenna out replace the seal on the antenna and also lubricate the antenna on the inside so there's still a lot of work guys so I hope you guys are enjoying. All right, guys, there she is. I jacked it up right there. As you can see, it's nice on the jack stand and the rubber pad. No damage whatsoever. Everything is amazing. I'm about to take off the left rear wheel. And these are the brakes that the owner brought me. They're Brembo's, they're amazing. Uh, brake discs right. and uh, brake pads. So I'll be installing those in the rear and uh, have everything ready the tools and all the other stuff and I'm, I'm about to go start undoing everything uh, i already started working on that left rear axle and uh, also we have some more stuff like i'll be draining the coolant and putting the fresh coolant in um so it's awesome All right, guys, well, the axle is out, and this is how everything looks right here uh, without the axle. And I still haven't started my brakes, but um, before doing the axle, make sure you always check the wheel bearing, make sure it doesn't have any play. This one didn't have any play, so I'm not worried about replacing the wheel bearing right now, and it's not noisy, so it's good. Also, one more thing, guys, is a lot of you are gonna say, hey, rebuild these axles which I agree with, but I'm just on a time limit right now. I cannot do it. We just decided to replace the axle. And I don't know if we're gonna replace the other axle. We might, but as of right now, we're just replacing it with a brand new one. Uh, this axle, we're gonna save this axle and we're gonna rebuild it in the future. But as of right now, I just want to do this job really fast and quick. So we decided that I'm just gonna replace this axle with a new one. And this one was just gonna get saved and rebuilt in the future. I'm also going to be replacing this exhaust mount, which sits down there. Parking brake shoes look good. I changed them last year. Wheel bearing feels smooth and amazing. No issues there. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, replacing these brakes. Install new ones.
Okay guys, so the old brakes are out and the wheel bearing is nice and smooth and over here, no noises, no play. So that's great. Um, everything else is good. Parking brake shoes are good. Um, caliper is all good. I compressed the pistons on it. I just took out the axle on this side. The axle is out. It will be getting rebuilt. Um, and I'm ready to install new brakes on this right rear wheel. I just finished replacing the rear brakes on this W124 and I just wanted to show you this uh, mount uh, that's in the middle. It's actually like it mounts to the rear subframe on this car. So it's not too bad yet, but it's getting there. It's got like cracking right there. So we replaced it with a brand new one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm done for today. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll continue working on this amazing W124 Mercedes. And yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> I will continue tomorrow. And for you guys, it's probably going to be a few moments till we continue. Well, this is one of the things that uh, automotive mechanics run into is getting the wrong parts. So in this case, I wasn't able to finish the front brakes yesterday because I received the wrong uh, brake rotors. So right now I have to go back to the store and I have to exchange them and I hope they have the correct ones in stock. Um, and as of right now, the car is just jacked up and the wheel is loose. And I did take the old rotor with me just in case so I can compare it at the store um and yeah hopefully they have those things in stock i'll come back and i'll finish these brakes up afterwards finally guys i got the right brakes so we're gonna be installing these bad boys onto the car in case anybody needs the part number and these are the rotors. Apparently there's uh, two different options for the front rotors for this uh, W124. So yeah, so I'm about to take this wheel off and proceed to changing these brakes. All right, guys, I just finished this side, replaced the brake pads, uh, brake sensors, and the brake rotor. Everything looks really nice. Everything spins smoothly, new pads, everything is amazing. All right, guys, I just finished this side, brakes, uh, installed new rotor, new pads, new brake wear sensors. Everything is nice and amazing. Everything looks good. Applied some uh, copper anti-seize right here so the wheel doesn't rust into the rotor and hub. And everything is awesome. While I'm here, I'm gonna reapply some silicone paste onto these boots to keep them all nicely preserved. These are just uh, tie rod boots. Like that, same on the inner one. On the way around. I'm gonna clean these uh, front wheels for them at the same time. We're finally replacing uh, these horrible long bolts with the regular normal ones, which is on the left side. 
So I'll be installing this guy on. Whoever did the brakes on it last didn't do a good job. As you can see, these pins, they're not all the way in. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be sticking out like that. So they did not do a good job for sure. And as you can see, it's time to replace these brakes. The ridge is so bad on this rotor and the wear. All right, my friends, well, I just finished the brakes on this right side. New pads, new rotor, everything is reinstalled, retightened, new brake sensors, brake pads, cleaned up, lubricated, pins all the way in.